Okay, I am on page 340 of the reading textbook. Our story this week is Honus and Me, and our short story to begin the week to introduce the vocabulary is Grandpa and Me. So let's take a look at these vocabulary words really quickly. Instinctively, decrease, swiveled, shakily, dilapidated, auction, decades, and rafters. Um, thesaurus, so using a thesaurus, which we talked about in a previous video. An antonym is a word that means the opposite or nearly the opposite of another word. Decrease and increase are antonyms. You can find antonyms in a thesaurus. And remember when you're using Google Docs, you can find the, a thesaurus in your tools. And also in the uh, state tests at the end of the year, depending on what the assignment is or what the test question is, there may be a, a thesaurus available to you there as well. All right, follow along. Let's go ahead and get started. Grandpa and Me by Susan Riley. For six weeks in the summer of 1987, I went to live with my grandfather. When my mom first told me about the plans, without thinking, I instinctively groaned. Somewhere inside me, a voice told me that I would be miserable. This meant no afternoon baseball games with my neighborhood friends. Plus, I just knew my popularity would decrease or lessen if I wasn't around all summer. The first week with Grandpa was fine. We went out to dinner and watched TV together. One day, Grandpa was sitting at the table reading the newspaper. I sat on the couch and flipped through my baseball card collection. I had all my cards in a binder with plastic sleeve protectors. Wish I had a Hank Aaron card, I muttered to myself. When Grandpa heard me, he swiveled around on his chair so fast that the wheels almost flew off. He said, I didn't know you liked baseball, Susan. I explained that it was my favorite sport and that I usually play it all summer with my friends. Grandpa stood up shakily, balancing himself with his hand on the wall, and walked to the door. Let's go, he said, smiling. I want to show you something. We drove for quite a while, and when Grandpa finally stopped the car, we were in front of some dilapidated old houses. They were abandoned and falling apart. A sign on each house said, Land will be sold to the highest bidder, City Hall Auction. Call for details. I started to say something, but I noticed that Grandpa had a faraway look in his eyes. I haven't been here for decades, he whispered. Probably 20 or 30 years. We walked onto one of the old porches. Grandpa pointed down the street and said, that's the field where I used to play baseball every summer. Then I realized where we were. This was the house Grandpa grew up in. We peeked inside a window to see a big mess. The ceiling was falling down so that you could see the wooden rafters or beams hidden behind it. No one had lived here for a long time. On the ride home, Grandpa was very quiet. I thought about how he must miss his old home and the friends he grew up with. Then I realized that six weeks away from home was not, so, not too bad, especially with Grandpa around. Reread for comprehension, evaluate, make judgments. That's something we're going to be talking about this week. Good readers usually make judgments while they are reading. Evaluating the actions of the characters helps readers make judgments about the characters. You can use a judgments chart to help you evaluate the characters in a story. Use the chart as you reread Grandpa and Me. So your judgment chart can be found in your Google Classroom, and there'll be a video to go along with it as well. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.